Panda Tech blog. In this blog, I am going to discuss about how you can configure any Angular application to Angular Universal Enabled, meaning the SSR and pre render, and then turn that application to a PW, a configurable application. So, first, uh, your uh, application, let's say the Angular application which you have built using Engine New. So that application, you if you run the um, Lighthouse report on it, you could see that something like that, like performance is low, best practice, SEO, whatever it is. Though it's a very simple application, but still the performance, best practice, SEO is not up to the mark. So with that simple application, I am trying to make more performed and best practices and PWA enabled so that it will work efficiently. So now first of all, let me have the Angular Universal and Pre-Render enabled on the simple application. Uh, I do have two different blog uh, for issue enablement for uh, your Angular application as well as the Pre-Render strategy. If you could uh, check out this application, uh, this blog article, you could see how I make uh, the uh, application as an issue enabled as well as um, what are the problem I faced during transitioning that simple angular application to a uh, universal based application um, uh, what kind of error I received and how I have uh, solved those things so you could uh, check out this blog and uh, then after coming back to the another one where I defined the pre-render let's say first let's discuss about the SSR and pre-render SSR is for dynamic application that means the server side rendering sh should be run um, your angular application should run on any of the express server which serve the HTML if client is requested for so uh, whenever any client is requested any route any page Express server will create the HTML and serve that HTML to your uh, browser Whereas pre-render is basically a static generation of your application if you are having a blog site or that does not need any dynamic update in between not like e-commerce application or any of the uh, any of the uh, share related uh, where the monetary transaction is going you need to show online so on that uh, application explicitly on that ex uh, application you could go move with your simple blog application with any of the other static generation uh, generated application you can proceed with the pre-render pre-render is much faster it's performed well so uh, you need to just pass few of the parameters like uh, what kind of route you need to run and uh, this is the list of routes and uh, then after you can create your bar uh, your build using SEO pre-render and uh, with pass bypassing the route.txt route.txt let me quickly open that route.txt file so here it is I have defined two page so that means two uh, directory is being created under index.html those are will be served as a static uh, file it will not create any um, any you do not need to run that um, application in any of the uh, express server or something you can build the application you deploy that complete dist file in your s3 aws amplify uh, Netlify wherever you want eventually it will work accordingly so now go back to the blog and the lighthouse report is pretty much okay not okay it's a um, great uh, basically the um, values are so very good but in your real-time application you might see the it's the graph is not showing like that way uh, so it always be recommended by Google even nowadays most of the application is turning to a PWA as well so that uh, those are the five feature we can uh, explicitly leverage for your PWA application it is it can run offline it's a high performance it will uh, provide a background processing uh, push notification whenever any update happens or any whenever you uh, launch any new uh, new blog or anything you can uh, 
send a push notification to the um, application where it is already been installed it will serve uh, just like a normal app, mobile app and also the, the icon uh, to uh, you launch your application whenever you install your application you could see the icon so let's turn uh, your our angular uh, universal application into a pwa so for that you need to run that simple command ng at angular slash pwa it will create all the necessary changes in your site mostly you need to check two files let me just quickly open it up one is the manifest.web uh, manifest.web manifest this file is just having the configuration about your icons color theme which page it's supposed to load after launching the application all of those details you can man verify here uh, mostly no need to change anything the theme color background color icon you just provide eventually you don't need to make any changes over there the other one is required sub changes ngswconfig.json so if you see there is three group asset group data group and any of the external url no i have not added but uh, any of the font anything you are using in uh, google font if you are using that also can be you can in include here so uh, all of those files whatever you define here those will be um, now let me here go here so this is the highlighted section i have changed here those sections if i in, uh, mentioned those are being cached by the service worker uh, so it will can serve the data offline so uh, whenever you run the application when after installing the uh, pwa i could see if you are going through a pre-render based uh, build scenario you could see that ngsw config is not been in your under test file and let me go back to here as well and if i open up the test file see this is the ngsw json and here i do have all the reference whatever is being cached see all of the urls uh, see this is the home dot index index file all the polyfill files assets country dot index file home dot index file everything is being cached if you do not get this such kind of whatever the changes you have made if you don't see it those are being entry here that means your pwa is not been configured yet you have to make sure that uh, all of those item whatever you have mentioned in the ngsw config.json file should come after build scenario mm -hmm. after build it should show all the details under ngsw.json file so if you could go back to your browser and uh, here i did that particular line to be added in order to have the ngsw config to work but there is a one option i got i did try using said but uh, it it did not work out for me so based one is to have that line that command to be added with your pre-render command so uh, let's jump back to the real application where i uh, have the uh, pre angular universal pre-rendered and pwa is being installed i am launching that application using a very light server that is nothing but let me open up the package.json file here i am just using http server to launch the application so if i go back here uh, country it will fetch all the data for uh, all the country's name this little gear icon that means all the data is now being cached and net let's i if i move to the this country united states i could see the flag and details of uh, united states now let me just uh, move uh, let me make sure that uh, this tab is now not in um, network connected with network and if i go to the application so here the my application is now offline 
but service worker are working so that means if I move to the uh, country tab I could see the data whereas if you could see all the let me just remove it do a refresh you don't see the gear icon at all so all of those I data whatever is being cached that is only serving here it is not serving the any other data uh, how we can justify it so if I could go back to the United States that data I visited earlier that's why it gets loaded but if I move to any other country let's say the Zimbabwe it will not get loaded because it is not been cached now if I again come back to uh, link. now I again connected with the network if I refresh the page it will call the API eventually I will get the details of that country as well now go back to the application and if you use bypass for network that means you are not going to use any of the service worker scenario now uh, now if I if you move to the network tab let me clear it out and then after if you move to any of the uh, other country it will just simply call the REST API and no service worker will cache the data uh, it is sometimes is required like few of the APIs you don't want it to put under service worker in that case you need to pass a simple NGSW query pa query parameter with your API request like uh, like uh, this name Brazil then question mark NGSW that's it uh, these uh, then this URL will not be um, uh, catched by the service worker and uh, lastly this application is installable and if you click on that um, option it will prompt you to install it if you do install eventually it will launch your application in a defined window here it is you could see the uh, whatever it's just like a, a locally installed software and uh, it will work accordingly now I might close that developer window here and so it will just work like that way and uh, you could uninstall it by clicking that three dot uninstall demo SEO and you can remove it so that is all for today uh, if you have any other question any other clarification please feel free to uh, write it down in your in the comment box and the code base I have already added in a, a here feel free to check this out thank you if you like the video please subscribe comment and like it thank you